Deesky from Deesky Grills back with another cooking video. And today we're making smoked chicken soup on the barbecue grill and the stove top. Can't wait to show you this. This is going to be one awesome cook. It's winter time, really chilly outside. So some good old smoked chicken soup would hit the spot right now. So let me show you some of the ingredients we're going to use for today's cook. We're going to start off with four chicken broths. These are 32 ounce a piece. So four times 32, we're talking about 128 ounces of chicken broth. We are going to have seasonings, our Suzy Q. We're going to use black pepper. We are going to use basil. We will also use bay leaves. Now, one good thing about a chicken soup that I have to tell you, this is a secret recipe that truly brings chicken soup together, and that is mint leaves. So we will also use mint leaves as part of this cook. Now, let's talk about our first veggies. What do we have today? We have cauliflower. We have white onion. We have cabbage. We have carrots. We're gonna hit this with cilantro, jalapeno peppers, and then the star of the show is one six pound chicken. So we have a whole chicken that we're gonna smoke on the Gateway Drum Smoker. So we're gonna do the hang method. I bought two chickens. One chicken I'm gonna cut up and just eat later on throughout the week. So we're gonna hang two chickens. I have one for our soup and one still in a bag. So we'll prep both of these, get them out on the Gateway Drum Smoker, get that smoke flavor infused in these babies. And in the meantime, we'll be on the stove top making up all of our other soup ingredients. Once the chicken's done, we'll let it cool, we'll cut it up, drop it in our soup, let it all simmer, and you are gonna see the most succulent, awesome chicken soup ever. I wanna thank you for joining me as always. You know what we do, we we'll take it to the cutting board, show you step by step how to make this awesome chicken soup. Thanks again for joining me, and let's get cooking. Okay, we are back, YouTube. What I'm gonna do, I have two chickens, like I said, one for the chicken soup, and one that I'm gonna smoke, and we're gonna cut up and eat throughout the week. So, let's get olive oil on both of these. Now, time is against me, so what we're gonna do is get olive oil on both of these. Now, the one that we're gonna use for the chicken soup, we're just gonna go with salt, pepper, garlic, our Suzy Q's, and the one that we're gonna smoke to eat on later on in the week, we're gonna do the same thing, salt, pepper, garlic, but we're also gonna hit it with the Mojo Rub, Barbecue Magic. So let's do that real quick on this side first. Suzy Q's first, and I've talked about this a lot. Love this mixture as a base for pretty much everything I cook. Salt, pepper, garlic, and parsley. Okay, so we'll go a heavy dose of this here. Now we're gonna go barbecue magic on one of them. Let's see which one I wanna do. We'll go barbecue magic on this one here. So this will be the one we smoke and eat later uh, throughout the week. So we get us a nice coat of the barbecue magic on there. And this stuff is coming out well, as you can see. Okay. Now we're gonna flip both birds over and do the exact same thing to the other side. Now this hang method is gonna be awesome. I've already done chicken once on here. The chicken was phenomenal. I mean, it was really, really good chicken. Okay, nice portion here. We'll go on the inside. Get inside that cavity. All right, that's that one. Now let's catch this side. All right, and back with the barbecue magic on this one. Okay, so that's what we have going on, folks. Both our chickens have been seasoned. We're gonna let them sit on the cutting board. I'm gonna go outside and see where we're at on the grill. These will get hung and get them smoking. Then we'll come back inside as these are smoking and prep for our soup. I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, YouTube, so we are outside. We have the Gateway Drum Smoker uh, getting lit right now. What I have inside, I'll show you. We have a nice fire going right now. What I did is I put in two wax starters. We have Fogo Lump Charcoal, as well as Kingsford down on the bottom. Okay, so this baby is hot and getting ready. Uh, already ashed over to where I need it. What I'm gonna do now is go ahead and close the lid on it and let it come up to temperature. At that time, we will add our um, 
pecan wood. We're gonna do pecan on this cook here. We'll add that right inside. So let's get the lid on it. Okay, our lid is in place. I'm gonna open up our dampers. That damper and my other one is already open and the exhaust is wide open. So we're gonna let this thing come up to temperature and I'll check back with you guys when we get closer to about 250 to 300 degrees. Okay, YouTube, we are back. So we're gonna go ahead and hook our chicken and get it ready to hang on the drum smoker. Now what I like to do is right here on the breast side, there's a breast plate inside of the chicken. I like to go right through that breast plate. I feel like that's the most resistance that I have and gives me a great opportunity to make sure this chicken holds up and doesn't fall when it's uh, cooking. So I go right through that breastplate. Let's go right on down. And you could fill that quite easily if you uh, once you um, fill inside the chicken. So we're gonna go through the breastplate and right outside the other side, and right to the other side. So that's one. You see the hook is all the way through. This baby's ready. We'll do the same thing on the other one. What I try to do is go right. All right, and here's chicken number two. We'll go right through that same area, that breastplate come right on through it punches through pretty easy but you want to get it there we go right through that harder part okay and that is the next one so here's our two chickens ready to hang you can see those babies there they are we will hang them out on the drum in just a second so i just want to take a second to show you how we're going to get these babies hung okay so i'm going to remove these and put them now on a pan so they can be transported outside when it's time to hang them. All right, there we go. Now we're gonna get our cutting board clean and start cutting us some veggies up. Okay, YouTube, we are back. Our drum is hot. I'm gonna drop in the diffuser plate I have. Now this diffuser plate is strictly for when you're hanging chicken. It sits right in there as so. Now what you see with the holes, these holes keep you from having that direct flame on your chicken. I need to hurry up and get this thing closed, but that's what this is for. So we'll get our rack out now. Let me bring the rack over. I'll back this up and let you see the whole thing. So you see our diffuser plate is in place, and now we have our rib rack. So I'll back it up and let you see that. And there's our rib rack. So what we'll do now is get the chicken and get it hung right now. Okay, YouTube, we are back. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these chickens hung. Let's get chicken number one. This baby is gonna be great. That hung right there. And chicken number two, right here. You could easily get four or five chickens on this setup. I'll take you up close and let you see how it looks. So this is awesome. We're gonna hurry up and get the lid on, and I'll check back with you guys uh, in about an hour as far as the chicken goes. But uh, we're gonna go to the cutting board now and cut up our veggies for this awesome smoked chicken soup. I'll see you guys inside. Okay, you two, we are back. So we have our chicken outside smoking. I'm gonna add our um, four boxes of chicken broth right now to the pot. So let's do that right now. Again, very, very easy chicken soup to make. And we want this chicken broth to start simmering right now. So that's the plan behind the chicken broth. Now in the meantime, the plan is going to be to start dicing up all of our vegetables. I'm gonna get the cauliflower going first and the carrots, since they are a harder vegetable to get soft. Those will be the first things we add to this soup along with the mint leaves. But I'll show you that once we get everything chopped up. So, do you see what I'm doing now? We'll add all four containers. That'll be 128 ounces of chicken broth. I'll see you guys in a bit when it's time to add our veggies to the soup. <laughs> Okay, YouTube, so our chicken broth is boiling. I thought I'd show you the cut up veggies. So as you can see, we have cilantro, we have jalapeno pepper, we have our carrots, we have our mint leaves, okay. so we have our cabbage, we have cauliflower, and we have white onion. Now, uh, we also have basil that we're gonna add to this 
as well as salt, pepper, garlic, and I've already put two bay leaves inside of the chicken broth. So, like I said, we will start off by adding the carrots because they have a harder consistency, of course. They'll take longer to break down than the cauliflower. From there, we'll do our onions, cabbage, and what we're gonna do right now is add the mint leaves. They'll be added right now and they'll just dissolve within the chicken broth. That puts a awesome flavor in this chicken soup. So I'm gonna get these added right now. The rest of the ingredients we'll add a little bit later. Now, we're about 20 minutes into the chicken cook. We have at least an hour and a half to go before we even start adding things. So I'll get back with you guys when we get closer to getting the chicken done. Then we'll add these awesome, awesome veggies. Thanks for hanging in there with me. Okay, YouTube, we are back. So it is time now to go ahead and start adding our veggies. We've been cooking our chicken out there on the Gateway Drum Smoker for about 45 minutes, close to an hour right now. I'm gonna go ahead and start adding our carrots first. So we'll get those in there. Okay, so we just added the carrots. So next thing we're gonna to add to this soup will be the cauliflower. In about 10 more minutes, we'll add the cauliflower. Then we'll come back and add our onion. So we'll add our onion next. Then we'll add our cabbage our jalapeno peppers, and finally, our cilantro. Now, we're gonna build the most remarkable flavors for this chicken soup. The, the chicken will be ready in about another 30 minutes to 45 minutes. We'll bring it to the cutting board, chop it in big chunks, chunks of legs, thighs, uh, breast meat. We'll have all of that added to this chicken soup, infusing it with that smoke flavor. We had pecan wood out there. I mean, this is gonna be remarkable. I can't wait to show you the finished product. I'll bring you back when it's time to add the rest of the veggies, then we'll come back to the cutting board when it's time to cut up the chicken. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, YouTube, we are back. So I want you to see now that we are steaming really, really good now on our broth. Our carrots have been uh, cooking in here for about 15 minutes, so they're starting to get soft. Now it's time to add our cauliflower. Nice big chunks of cauliflower. Now the thing about this soup here, you want big chunks of everything. So when you get done, having a bowl of this. You've had all the veggies you need, you've had all the protein you need, and definitely, when you're on Disky Grills, you know what you've had, all the flavor you need. This is gonna be absolutely amazing. So, we're gonna get all the cauliflower in, then I'll cut it off, and then come back in about five or 10 minutes, and we will add the rest of the ingredients. And that, again, will be the cabbage, it will be the onion, and it will be the cilantro. Now our chicken is almost done, so I figure we'll head outside next and go check on the chicken. So let's go check on the chicken real quick. Okay, we are back. So I wanted to show you something. We are dead at 300. Where you see the needle at on the dial, that is straight 300 degrees where we're at. So we are cooking awesome now. This Gateway Drum Smoker has been staying between 280 and 300 the entire cook. I'm gonna get you guys closer. We're gonna take the lid off and I'm gonna show you how this chicken's looking and we'll go ahead and probe it and see how it's looking for doneness. Now, this chicken has only been cooking for one hour. This again, this drum smoker is the epitome of hot and fast. So let's take this off. My goodness, it looks absolutely phenomenal. Let me come on down a little bit and let you guys see it, okay? So that's our two chickens hanging. And we'll go ahead and probe them now for doneness. We'll go inside of the uh, breast meat first. Now you know when you're talking breast meat, you're looking for about 160 to 165 degrees. As you can see, hopefully you can see at least, we're at one, oh, we're done, we're 180. One hour, whole chicken is done. Okay, these chickens are coming off. I'll meet you guys at the cutting board and we will get these cut up and added to our soup in just a second. Okay, YouTube, as you saw, we just finished checking on the chicken. I'm gonna go ahead and bring that in, but I thought since the chicken is done quicker than I thought, I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of the veggies right now. So let's get the rest of them introduced. Let's start with our cabbage first. So we'll get all of our nice chunks of cabbage in here. Let them start simmering in this soup. We're gonna add our onion. So we have big chunks of onion we're gonna add. This is gonna be absolutely phenomenal. I'll take you up close and show you how it looks um, after we get everything added. Okay, folks, here's how our chicken soup is looking. We're gonna get this up to a simmer. We want it to kind of boil really, really low, put the lid on it, let these veggies get soft inside, and then introduce our smoked chicken in just a second. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. I'm gonna go get the chicken off the grill. 
Okay, let's get this whole chicken cut up. We are back and uh, as you can see, it is cutting like butter. We'll go right on through the breast. We're gonna flip this baby over. Now what we wanna do is just chop this baby into chunks like I said, so look at this. Look at this succulent chicken. Cooked through and through. Let's start getting us some chunks out. So what we want now again is just chunks of meat for soup. So you can see it's cooked all the way through. Thorough as can be. Okay, so we will continue chopping on this bird. And since this baby is cooked through and through, how are you gonna beat making a whole chicken in a little over an hour? And you better believe the skin's going in. Look at this. This is all of this is going in. This is smoke flavor. Into the soup it goes. Okay, let's do the other side. Here's our awesome whole chicken that's gonna go into our chicken soup. So I'll meet you guys back at the pot. We'll add this chicken. And guess what? If we add this and it seems like it's not enough, we'll cut into that other chicken and add some of it as well. See you guys over here at the pot. Okay, time to get our chicken added. Let's start adding these chunks of chicken to this beautiful soup. Here's a whole thigh. There's a wing. Tons and tons of breast meat. All added. Look at that. Succulent, juicy chunks of chicken breast. Falling apart. Let's get that added. Here's our other wing. In she goes. We have a leg heading in. The other end of our wing, so just chunks of chicken being added. I think we'll have enough chicken too by the way this is looking. Look at this, succulent breast, unbelievable. One whole chicken added to the soup. I'll go ahead and get the lid on it and we will uh, let this simmer, stir it a few times and then I'll show you the final product in just a minute. Thanks again for joining me. See you guys at the cutting board in just a minute. Okay, YouTube, we are back. Let's check out the final product of our smoked chicken soup made on the Gateway drum smoker and the stove top. Let me show you this awesome soup. Look what we got here, folks. Look at this, hearty chicken soup. Here's what we got. We have beautiful, beautiful chunks of chicken. We have cabbage, we have carrots. We have a smoke flavor out of this world. Look how hearty it is. Here's a chicken wing. Look at that, a whole chicken wing. I mean, this is not only a hearty soup, this is a healthy soup. It is full of smoke flavor because we smoked it for a whole hour on the Gateway Drum Smoker. We have our carrots and cabbage, we have our jalapenos, we have our mint leaves. Again, this is chicken done right. If you like what we're doing, please subscribe to my channel. Let others know what DC Grills is up to. And as always, at DC Grills, grilling is not a pastime, it's a passion. You enjoy the rest of your day, YouTube. Thanks for joining me.